Oral Reading Fluency Introduction Reading is a wonderful skill, and there are different types of reading. You can read silently to get information, or you can read silently for pleasure. What about reading aloud? This is called oral reading. Often when I write a letter, an email message, or a blog post, I read my text aloud to make sure it sounds good. When I read my own writing, I'm checking for mistakes or I'm looking for ways to make my ideas sound better. With my children, I read aloud almost every day. I read to them, they read to me. They've become better readers and listeners because of this. Oral reading, though, is not just helpful for young learners. As language learners, adults can benefit from oral reading, too. When you learn to read a text smoothly and clearly, you become more confident as a speaker. Your pronunciation improves because you're taking the time to form each word and say each phrase as one thought. You become more aware of new words and how they're used. And because you're reading more slowly than you would if you read silently, your understanding of sentence structure can deepen because you're paying attention to how words are put together and how punctuation is being used. In this series, we're going to read short texts aloud to develop your fluency. They're short because I want you to read each text several times. We'll read each text four times. First, you listen as I read. I'll read at a natural pace. Second, you listen and repeat after me. Third, we read together slowly. Fourth, we read together again at a more natural pace but you shouldn't stop after four readings. I encourage you to read at least once more on your own. Also, consider recording yourself on day one. If you practice each day, then record yourself again on day seven. You should hear your own progress. Remember, it's okay to sound different from me. You should find your own voice when you read these texts. I'm just giving you one possible model. In these practice texts, I will use slashes in the slower reading to help you understand where to pause. I will use one slash for a short pause and two slashes for a long pause. Reading aloud well is only possible if you understand what you're reading. For that reason, I'll start with very easy texts. Then I'll increase the difficulty level. I'm going to use high-frequency words. That means these are words worth knowing, worth studying, because they're used often in communication. Reading can be very helpful when you want to improve your vocabulary. Take the time to look up the definitions of new words in the dictionary. Look at the examples in the dictionary. Then look again at how I used the words in my texts. I'll help you by including short vocabulary notes of some key words in each reading. If you're a teacher, you can keep track of the words I'm using and the difficulty level of the texts by reading the video descriptions. I'll note the range of words that I've chosen from the general service list, and I'll include a readability score. Now let's start reading. Read with me and become more fluent and more confident in English.